All right, so with this pink marker, I'm just gonna write the title of the scripture, Isaiah. I believe I only have like a handful of chapters, or not even that left in Isaiah. Rising to be. Rising to be productive. Rising to be organized. Rising to be inspired. Who are you rising to be? New podcast every Tuesday, new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. We're tracking your achievements and failures in your life using Rising to Be's accomplishment workbook at risingtobe.com. Stay motivated and track progress from your small and major wins. Three ways to use. Print it out, use an iPad with an Apple Pencil, and type on it right from your computer. Available in three unique color options, neutral, colorful, and pink and navy. Track job promotions, YouTube progress, certifications, podcast progress, weight loss or weight gain transformations, education or school grade journeys, life accomplishments, business success, qualifications, tracker, financial progress, and so much more. Start tracking your success today using the Accomplishment Workbook, now including 100 plus digital stickers. Buy now, pay later, using Klarna at checkout, only at risingtobe.com. Hello everyone and welcome to Rise and UV. We'll plan with Rise and UV. And in today's video, we're going to be planning in my Faith Happy Planner for the month of January. And if you want to see my planner stack for 2022, That'll be linked up above, and yeah, as well as a link to my main channel. So now, without further ado, let's get into this video. Amazing things happen when you, when you're kind. I don't know why I can't read today. All right, let's pop that out. And this, just for reference, this isn't an actual faith planner. It's a vertical planner with lines. I'm still a little iffy about this layout, but I had to get it because of, duh, the cover. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I'm gonna scribble my name in. Of course, we're not doing calligraphy because I still don't know how to do that. I'm just signing. Make sure I'm in frame. There we go. Of course, a basic calendar, but I really like that we have these open columns to just write little notes. I think that's really awesome. But yeah, blank pages, blank pages. I'm gonna just reference my old faith planner. Now, I wanna say I stopped, yeah, in November. So we're just gonna copy that Bible plan <clears throat> from my old Bible. So it's like an orange. Oh, that's a very neutral calendar, so that's good. So let's go ahead and start scribbling things down. This can be the praise report section, and I'm guessing, no wait, this can be the prayer list. Yeah, prayer list here. And then praise reports here. There we go. So one of my praise reports is finding a new apartment. because we lost our home from Hurricane Ida. I still haven't put out that video about all of our misadventures after that hurricane, so I just need to have some mental clarity before I make that video, because it was it's a whole lot that had happened. But yeah, what else do I have to do a praise report on? Mm -hmm. I can't think of anything else right now, but Oh, I know something. And not being pregnant, thank goodness. All right. Uh, speak good things to yourself. Absolutely. And we're just going to leave the prayer list open. And I'll just use that throughout the, the month. 
There we go. I really do like this divider. It's nice. And it looks very handwritten, you know, that nice homemade looking vibe. Speak good things to yourself. I love that. Let's get into our Bible reading plan. These pages are so thin. My goodness, that's why I would complain about the planner as well as this layout. Let's see how it goes. So I stopped in November of 2021. Yeah, because I have Isaiah 66, I believe. We're just going to transfer that here and call it a day. And then we have Luke chapter 19, verse 9 through 14. Do I need to zoom in? Yeah. Let's zoom in. All right, and that, I believe that's the last one. And then we jump into Jeremiah. It's like an emerald tealish color. I do like this color, it's very pretty. Jeremiah 1, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 4 through 7, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 21. Alright, so Jeremiah 2, all the way through chapter 3, verse 5. And then Judges chapter 2, verse 11 through 15. And then we have John chapter 4, verse 10 through 14. And then Jeremiah, chapter 2, oh wait, did I write this one? Yep. So we're on here. 3, verse 6, through chapter 5, verse 13. And then 2 Kings, Chapter 23, verse 15 through 20. And then Ephesians, uh, chapter 1, 3 through 14. Jeremiah, uh, chapter 5, verse 14. Through chapter 6 verse 30. Why is my pen skipping? I see all this ink in my pen. Psalms chapter 95. All right, we're going to switch into our marker. Psalms 95 and then Micah chapter 6 verse 6 through 8. Jeremiah chapter 7. Through nine, First Kings, chapter eight, forty one through forty three, Luke, chapter nineteen, verse forty one through forty four. Oh, wait, I'm writing it on Saturday. Ow, I made you down. Okay. So, matter of fact, Let's go ahead and write break for all my Saturdays and Sundays. So that's when I take a pause for my Bible reading plan and I don't want to accidentally write something down and then feel like I'm running behind in my plan. And then I think that's it for this marker because it's definitely drying. Yeah, I'm tossing it. I 
Jeremiah, chapter 7 through 9, 1 Kings 8, 41 through 43, Luke 19, 41 through 44, Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 11, oh, 10 through 11, yeah, chapter 10 through 11, Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 1 through 7, Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 5 through 11, All right, my camera ran out of space, so let's try this again. Psalm 25, verse 7, and then 2 Peter, chapter 2, verse 1 through 3. All right, what else we have? Jeremiah. 15, chapter 16, Exodus, uh, chapter 15, verse 2 through 3, Luke, chapter 11, verse 45 through 52. Jeremiah 17, Exodus, Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 22, Jeremiah chapter 18, through 19, 2 Kings 21, 10 through 12. Romans chapter 9 verse 20 through 21. Jeremiah 20 through 22. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 through 7. John chapter 11 verse 25 through 26. Jeremiah 23 through 24, Exodus chapter 12, verse 33 through 38, Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 through 14. All right, so. Oh, that's right. January is like five weeks. I forgot. No wonder my hand hurts. Jeremiah chapter 25, 2 Kings uh, 17, 13 through 16. First Peter chapter 4, verse 17 through 19. And this is Jeremiah chapter 26, Micah chapter 3, verse 12, Matthew 21, verses 33 through 46, Jeremiah 27, 2 Kings 24, 10 through 13, Ezra chapter 5, verse 13 through 17, Jeremiah 28, Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 1 through 5, Isaiah. 5 through 7, Amos chapter 5, 
verse 18 through 20. Matthew chapter 2, verse 16 through 18. Right. And what else we got? Oh, that's funny. I did December pink, and that's essentially the same shade for this month. Jeremiah. Oh my god, is this repeated? Let's see. Alright, so we're ignoring that repeat. Yeah. Jeremiah 32. And then Psalms chapter 62, verse 11 through 12. First Peter chapter 1, verse 17 through 19. Jeremiah 33 and 34, Psalms 107, verses 19 through 22, Romans chapter 8, 16 through 17. And then we have Jeremiah 35 through 36. And then Joel, or Joel. I don't know why I said Joel like Noel. Chapter 2, 15 through 17. Luke 29 through verse 30 ish, 30 something. And then Jeremiah 37 through chapter 38. And then 2 Kings again. There's a lot of 2 Kings for this. Chapter 24, verses 8 through 9. And then we have Psalms. Chapter 40, verse 1 through 3. Then we have Jeremiah. Chapter 39, verse 41. I mean, chapter 31. I mean, chapter 41. Second Chronicles. Chapter 36, verse 15 through 16. Romans. Chapter 6, verse 23, Jeremiah, chapter 42 through chapter 43, Psalm 104, verses 1 through 4, Romans, chapter 8, verse 31. All right, there we go. All done. That works. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Uh, it's my Bible reading plan for the month. And I think I stopped what? Jeremiah. Oh, wait. Jeremiah 42. Okay. How many chapters are in Jeremiah? I have no idea. Probably it's not nearly as much as there were in Isaiah. Cause that was like crazy. Okay, 52. Well, hopefully they're not like long chapters. I think that's why it's like doubled up on a few of the chapters. But yeah. YouTube commenter, it's Alicia. The thumbnail was superb. Thanks so much for your comment, it's Alicia. I'm glad that you like the thumbnail. And of course, we're gonna pop these pages out. All right, make sure I'm in frame. There we are. Grabbing my marker, I'm just gonna trace around the border. Because what else would we do on Rise and UV? 
And if you're ever curious as to what supplies I'm using, that'll be linked down below in our description box, of course. And these are Crayola Super Tip Markers. It's like a, a corally orange color, I would say. Now, I'm gonna trace around my empty boxes so I'll know which boxes I'm going to fill in with stickers later when we start decorating. I'm trying to do a decent job before this marker officially dries out completely. Because I can tell I don't have much life left in this marker. All right, so now that that's done, what else? Because we don't have a key. And we're, of course we're gonna do our scripture of the day so I'm just gonna open up my Bible and I like to use my Bible app on my iPad I think it's a beautiful thing to do Ooh. cut down the brightness because it's messing up my camera all right so I use the version Bible app of course one of the best Bible apps out there and we're just gonna go to the more at the bottom, more with three lines, and then it does verse of the day. Hopefully you can see that. We, yeah. So more at the bottom, verse of the day, and then we're just gonna scroll down all the way to the first. I'm sure I have to cheat the date because we're not all the way through January. But yeah. Oh, you grab the marker. And I'm reading the, hmm. I'm in this, I don't know how to change my version. Cause I'm in the NIV version this year. Uh, let me see. weird. Is it not going to show me? It's not letting me click it for some reason. That's weird. Uh, okay. Alright, so with this pink marker, I'm just going to write the title of the scripture. Isaiah I believe I only have like a handful of chapters, or not even that, left in Isaiah. 18 through 19. Oh goodness, and the pin is skipping as well. All right, so. Yeah, that pin is done. Psalms 119, 105. But I believe, yeah, my Bible for the year is NIV translation. And I plan on doing a Bible setup video. Oh, there we go. I plan on doing a Bible setup video to set up my Bible because I want to add the Bible tabs. And yeah, I got this Bible on sale. I want to say for like 20 something dollars during. July, right before that raggedy holiday, not raggedy holiday, raggedy uh, hurricane we had. Yeah, because it retails for 50. And I'll be sure to link it down below just in case you also are interested in getting in this Bible. And of course, I was attracted to the, the cover, duh. But I really do like it. 
and it's another journaling Bible. I don't really like how the pages are yellow though, but I'm not showing that yellow on camera, but it's like a, a, a soft yellow, but still, I prefer a nice crispy white page. Philippians. And that's chapter four, verse six, second Corinthians, uh, chapter nine, verse six. And then we have Psalms, 55, verse 22. And then Isaiah, uh, chapter 60, verse one. Romans 6, 23. And then Matthew, chapter 18, verse 20. And then we have Luke, chapter 9, verse 23 through 24. Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 2. Matthew, 23, verse 11. Alright, what else? Amos, chapter 5, verse 24. And then Psalms, chapter 24, verse 1. Second Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17. Alright, Second Timothy. That looks like the letter Z. Second Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7. What else are we gonna do? I need to cheat my date and time. I believe I gotta restart the app since we are officially cheating time. All right, so we're now on January 16th. Psalms 139, chapter, not chapter, 100, uh, chapter 139. Verses 13 through 14. Isaiah 40, verse 5. Matthew 28, verse 19. And then we have Psalms 19, verse 14. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Matthew chapter 5. Alright, then we have 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 13. And then we have Psalms 30, verse 5. Deuteronomy and chapter 6, verse 5. Colossians. Chapter 3, verse 1. Alright, first Timothy. Chapter 6, verse 12. First John. First John chapter 2, verse 15 through 16. And then we have Luke, chapter 6, verse 45. First John. Chapter 3, verse 16. And then the last two. Matthew, chapter 5, verse 6. James, verse 5. There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and start scribbling in our scriptures. Do not remember the past events. This is a very good scripture for January 1st. Pay no attention. Pay no attention to things of old. And I already know I'm gonna highlight this one because it's a very good scripture. All right, January 2nd. Your word is a lamp for my feet. And a light on a app. Another good scripture. Don't worry. 
about anything. But in everything, through prayer and petition. And of course, I don't have enough room, so I'm just writing my dots. The point is this. The person who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Cast your burden on the Lord. And he will and he will sustain you he will never allow the righteous to be shaken I love this Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord shines over you. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there among them. Right, there we go. My handwriting is very terrible today. I'm not sure why. Then he said to them all, if anyone wants to follow, after me, I don't have enough space, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with, okay, the greatest among you will be your servant. But let justice flow like water in righteousness like an unfailing stream the earth and everything in it the world and its inhabitants therefore if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. 
the old passed away and see for God has not given us a spirit of fear but one of power love and sound judgment For it was you who created my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. All right, and then we have, and the glory of the Lord will appear and all humanity together will see it go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit <laughs> may the words of my mouth and the mediation or the meditation yeah the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you lord my rock and my redeemer no temptation has come upon you except what is common to humanity. Blessed are the merciful, the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. For his anger lasts only a moment. But his favor love the Lord your God with all your heart so if you have been raised with Christ seek the things above where Christ is fight the good fight of faith of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life. Do not love the world or the things in it or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. 
a good person produces good out of the good stored up in his heart. An evil person. Okay. This is how we have come to know love. He laid down his life for us. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. For they will be filled. Now, if any of you lacks wisdom, You should ask God. All right, my hand is falling asleep. But I do think we have some very good motivational scriptures to keep focused on our goals for 2022. For this month, I'm very much impressed by them. sit my iPad to the side. Oh my goodness, my hand is really falling asleep. Okay. Oh my gosh. Come on, hand, wake up. All right, so I'm just going to underline my favorites. All right, so let me just read some of my favorites. Do not remember the past events. Pay no attention to things of old. Let me just make sure I get the rest of that scripture real quick. I want to read the whole thing. Do not remember the past events. Pay no attention to things of old. Look, I am about to do something new. Even now it is coming. Do not, do you not see it? Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. And then we have the second one. Your word is like a lamp for my feet and my and a light on my path. And then we have the third one. Don't worry about anything, but in everything through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And then we have this one on the fifth. Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. And the sixth. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord shines over you. And we have the one on the eighth. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there among them. Then he said to them, then he said to them all, If anyone else wants to follow after me, let him deny himself. Take up... <sighs> Take up his cross daily and follow me. For whatever, for whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life because of me will save it. The eleventh, the greatest among you will be your servant. But let justice flow like water and righteousness like an unfailing stream. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, and see, the new has come. For God 
has not given us a spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and sound judgment. For it was you who created my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother, mother's womb. I will praise you because I have been remarkably and wondrously made. Your works are wondrous, and I know this very well. And the glory of the Lord will appear, and all humanity together will see it. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. No temptation has come upon you except what is common to humanity but god is faithful he will allow he will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able but with the temptation he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to bear it blessed are the merciful for they will be shown mercy who then will harm you if you are devoted to what is good for his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor a lifetime. Weeping may stay overnight, but there is joy in the morning. Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called and about which you have made a good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Do not love the Lord or the things in the world. If anyone loves the, the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride in one's possessions is not from the Father, but is from the world. A good person produces good out of the good stored up in his heart. A good person produces evil out of the evil stored in his heart. For his mouth speaks from the overflow of his heart. And our last one on the 31st. Now, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given to him. All right, so now let's go ahead and start decorating. And then we're gonna jump into our Bible plan. But I'll probably flip it in the editing. Ooh, but I'll probably flip it in the editing because it took me way longer to do my scriptures than I thought it would. All right, so. And I think this is completely empty. I guess that works. Now throw this up here.
All right, I like this. And this sticker here says choose kindness. Grace upon grace. I guess I'll use this one. Plow deep, pray hard, prepare for rain, grace upon grace, and choose kindness. I really like it. And this, of course, says Jesus first. All right, there we go. Look at this. It's very bright, it's very colorful. It's definitely a powerhouse for January. I don't have a stickers for you. I do have a lot of stickers. You need to tell them to get rid of them. All right, so back to planning. Thank you so much for planning with me today. And, oh, let me see. Thanks so much for planning with me today. And remember, to keep rising to be who you want to be. And I'll see you in my next video on next Saturday. Yeah, next Saturday. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Do you want even more Rising to Be in your life? Then join the Rising to Be Patreon. It helps you support the channel and other forms of content. There's three tiers to choose from. Starting as low as $4. So here's a breakdown of tier one. You get access to the monthly wallpapers for your computer and phone to keep you motivated and inspired all month long. You get to choose one monthly video topic and of course you get a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier two has access to monthly wallpapers. You get to choose one monthly video topic, early access to videos, and of course a Patreon shout out in my next video. Tier 3 has access to the monthly wallpapers. They get to choose two monthly video topics and one podcast topic. Early access to videos and podcasts, a Patreon shout out in my next video, and of course exclusive access to my printable collection from my Etsy store, Rising to V. And it's only available through Patreon and Etsy, so this is something you really want to jump on. There are three tiers to choose from. I plan on adding even more as we go along. So I hope you'll consider joining the Patreon risers. Keep rising to be who you want to be. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. I hope this episode was helpful to you. Let me know down below in the comments or your podcast review which tips you'll be using. Watch next week's episode early by joining my Patreon for exclusive content. There are three tips to choose from at patreon.com forward slash rising to be. And before I go, I just want to take a moment to thank Elise W and Rose W, tier three patrons. This episode would not be possible without the support of our rising to be patrons and channel members. Thank you. Keep rising to be who you want to be. Bye, risers.